Hi, I'd like to use the option of projection and do a few samples in a few different planes. So we have a top, we have a front, we have a back projection, we also have a bottom projection. So I'm going to put this back in top. We'll go ahead and start off with this top line here. We look at our top planes here. This is good. Projection. I'll go ahead and select the curve that I want to project. And I'm going to select face in this case. And it's a solid. So I'm going to use face selection. There we go. And that. And project that down. We also have the option of normal. And for example, if this is at one inch, you're going to see no projection. But as we start to creep down onto it, you can start to see as we get farther distance based on the distance from the line to the actual face at any given point, in that case it'll start to grow. So I'll set this back to view. We can see it projects over the entire curve. We'll go ahead and apply this. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to do the CAD cam right here. So I'm just going to do a window selection, end selection. In this case, you see it's trying to project basically at a value of 7. I want to do the same thought as before. So I'm going to set it for face, end selection. Now what I see is a warning. The size of selected entities and the tolerance is too close for the best results. So tighten the tolerance for greater accuracy. I'm just going to go ahead and say OK. Wait for that to process for a moment. Now we can see that it projected it down based on the top curve. But of course, actually, we are in the front curve being this one here. So I'm going to go ahead into the planes and select that and let it re project. So now we can see that it reprojected itself down on that base angle. And of course we do have the option for normal. The last one was at 2.1. But you can see that that's not a big enough projection distance to be able to get the entire value. So we'll need to enlarge that. So maybe 2.5 would be enough. And we can see that projected it onto there back to the view and we can see that it's fully projected at that angle in that view. We'll go ahead and apply. We have another one back here on a different plane. So in this case I will select that and selection and of course it's trying to do <laughs> a projection and construction plane. We want to go back to once again the surface that we're using. I get that same. It's based on a lot of the smaller details and lines and arcs. That's why we're getting this warning. Let that project. No projection found. And that's based on that it's trying to do it from a front plane view over here. So of course if I put it to a Say OK and put it to a top plane. So you can see that laid out here. You can see it tried to project it here. And of course, we would like to have that based on the back plane that we're working with. Now you can see, based on that projection from their view, it actually spread it across there. So that might be a thought for normal. No projections found. Once again, how far is that distance from there? So if I put, uh, let's put four inches. We can start to see that we have a projection there. So six inches. We can see projected onto that. It looks like actually needs like a 6.2, for example. To finish off the M there. So we can go ahead and say OK I'm going back to view if you want. We'll say normal. I'll leave it at that one. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply that one. And I will flip it over. And of course I will come from the option here 
of bottom construction plane and I will go ahead and project this last one to a surface solid face in this case this face and this face and selection once again based on the detail that was a max distance option or in this case a view being still flat to that plane go ahead and move that one and I'll go ahead and green check so we've now taken and projected several different views and different planes built and then constructed and projected um, very few anomalies or issues that we had at this time one of the other things I didn't show you in the previous options for project was to create a point and project that down to a surface or a face and actually create a line normal to that location of where it's projected. So for example, I'm going to move over to 2018 for the same file and I'm going to do the same type of procedure. So I'm in the top plane. I'm going to go to project. I've added a point as we can see here this location. I'm going to go ahead and select that point and end selection. Now the next thing we'd like to go ahead and do is define by a distance, as you can see it's projected down here, by a plane or a surface and solid. I'm going to say surface and solid and by default that's set for face. And I'm just going to go ahead and select that face. I'm going to end the selection. In this case I've got no projection found. We'll say OK. Let's go to view thought for one moment and we can see that that's projected based on the view straight down onto that face. Now let's go back to that normal thought and we'll say no projection found. But now once again it's a maximum distance from this point to reach the surface. So in that case one inch will not do it. Let's say two inch. And you can see that projects it down. Now we'd also like to do is go down below here and select the option to project lines. We'll go ahead and select the projected lines and you can see that it actually projected normal at that location to the surface. So we could also in this case the distance is roughly two inches based on what we see here. So if I make that two inches I can actually have a two inch length projected line projected normal to that surface. So a nice little tool to have when trying to create a projected line at a certain location on a surface or a plane. Hope you found this helpful.